Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So, uh, look, I've just come off a 200 mile sort of trip on the bike, and I've sort of averaged just right at the end 53.8 odd uh, miles per gallon, uh, which is great, but this is a bit of an odd one. When I first got the bike over two and a half years ago, uh, it had road tyres, and I was just about doing about 50 miles to the gallon. I was getting on a full tank of fuel about 200 miles as well. Now, uh, the last few months especially, on a different set of tyres, I'm on the Anarchy Wild, which are you know more the off-road type, and the, the, it started off at about mid-40s uh, miles per gallon, now it's crept up to 50 and 55. Today, on the outleg, uh, when I was doing more back roads, I was actually on 58.6 miles per gallon, which is really odd. Now, a lot of this is down to do with air pressure and temperature, and uh, you know your air density and but and also weight elevations i've been riding sort of flat terrain really uh gentle climbs i've been operating mostly about 300 feet uh, above sea level apart from where one bit i went up to about 800 feet above sea level for about 15 miles so that's about it so not grand not really big um not really big elevation changes either it's been a kind of a steady 23, 24 degrees uh, today. I actually kept at about 25 at one point. I noticed on my out leg I was at about 24, 25 degrees and the air seemed a little bit thinner. It might not be, but it seemed a little bit thinner. On the way back, temperature dropped down to about 23 at one stage and it seemed a little bit thicker as well. A little bit of extra wind resistance. I'm not sure if that's relevant or not, but on the way out it seems here I was getting better mileage, on the way back I was getting less, so that's, that's an interesting thing. But one of the big things is obviously tyre wear. Now I've noticed obviously since my tyre has been wearing down that I'm getting better mileage, but also it depends on your tyre pressure of course, and I tend to run my tyres a little bit a uh, couple of psi more and i know that's on the on the road that would give me a uh, better tire wear uh, and better mileage as well but it's just just changed this big fluctuation so i'm really not sure <laughs> what's caused it uh but i know when i first got the bike i was getting about say 50 miles to the gallon and i was also getting about 200 miles on a full tank now i'm saying getting well over 50 but 50 I say 53, 55, uh, today 58 at one point, uh, and I'm getting about 230 miles to, to the tank. I think if it was actually went down to you know fumes or there's nothing in it, I think it, this tank would get about 250 miles, which is really impressive. So I'm just wondering, you know, I put it out to you guys, what do you think this is, you know, causing it? Is it just tires? Is it you know the you know, the atmospheric pressure and everything like that? which you can think it's been constant so I can't really say it's massive changes there so it's got to be down to the the tire wear I think the more the the, the more your tires wear down and they're still the correct uh, operating pressure the better mileage you're gonna get possibly I don't know maybe you need you know, if there's an expert out there let us know anyway I just thought it was weird very weird tire uh, not a, a very weird uh, you know fuel consumption today on the bike I say it seems to get really uh, great uh, mileage and then it dripped down to but still really better than it's ever been go figure right well hope you uh, found that as weird as i did because I, I still can't work it out you know i'm getting a headache just thinking about it right anyway uh tomorrow i'll get the new bike so you know although it's been a faithful servant and it's been brilliant mileage obviously uh, it's got to go right catch you on the next video whenever that is uh, subscribe and all that good stuff notifications bell leave loads of comments as well let me know what you think uh, and uh, check out the website revelatoralf.com all the support pages are there all the links are there all the podcast links and everything like that and uh, well what's left to say but catch you on the next video Ta -da.